What is poppin' with the XRO Technologies squad? We're gonna get another breakdown here. So we're on the weekly time frame. It is the week of February 27th, right? So Monday was February 27th, today's the 28th. It's also the last day of February, right? So it'll be interesting to see how this stock plays out for the rest of March and the months to come as well. So again, if you haven't watched any of my previous XRO Technologies breakdown videos, I highly suggest you look back. The technical analysis has been essentially spot on from when I started making these videos. We've come into this area here, right? This $3, the $280 to $3 range. And it looks like we've printed a tweezer top bearish pattern, right? This is a sign of a reversal here. So here we have this low, we have a high, we create a higher low, and then we push to the upside, right? Creating a higher high. Now the higher high here, this is just basic trends, right? The higher high is in this 280 to $3 range, and we're rejecting that zone with this tweezer top pattern. This indicates that we're gonna go lower in the next few weeks, and that's what we've seen so far. So what we need to pay attention to now is where we could potentially go down to. An easy way to put this is to look at previous resistance. And the previous resistance in this stock was around that $2.09 range, right? Right around here. You could label that out, give or take. So this zone here, $2.10 to $2.20, could be looked at as support if we come back in that area. A healthy stock will show that it'll start to be bought off of that range. What I do like about this weekly consolidation is we're seeing the bearish volume die off, right? We don't want to see large increases in bearish volume, which would signal some exiting in the stock. What we, another thing we want to pay attention to in the past few videos, I've brought up the 8 EMA. So we're still holding the 8 EMA here on the weekly time frame. What I think is most important though, right? We, I've mentioned this bullish cross of the 8 EMA crossing above the 21 EMA right so that is showing us there's definitely some buying momentum coming into the stock what we want to see happen is we want to see that either the 8 or the 21 act as support from here on out for the next few months right that is what's going to indicate a healthy strong momentum stock so what we need to look for is if this 21 EMA slowly creeps up to this resistance area and if price merges its way back down to that area and then acts as support. So what I'm saying is if we see this 21 EMA kind of do something like this and it comes into this range, we want to see the price respect the 21 EMA, right? If it comes back down and use it as support and then eventually will break up into this range to weaken this zone once again. Right. So for those that don't really understand from a technical perspective, resistance and support, right? This resistance area, there's a bunch of sh supply in this area, right? There's a bunch of shares. There's more shares outstanding than there is buyers, which is why we are unable to push the price above that range. So what we want to pay attention to is how many times are we going to hang out around this area? to weaken this zone and eat up the supply. Because as you know, the reason why stocks increase in price is due to an outstanding amount of demand in the stock versus the supply. So with all this technical analysis, all in all, that's what we're looking for. Hang around these ranges and then make a new, break this zone, right? Make a new area where the resistance is no longer strong enough we break above and then act as support in the future so th that's just a overall syn synopsis of what we're looking at on xro technologies 
Um, from what I believe and what I've been told, there's a live seminar coming within the next couple days. Maybe it was today. I'm not too sure. But there's a bunch of bullish news on this stock. So it's something that uh, I'm keeping on my watch list. And my ultimate buy opportunity is going to be if we come into this range and use the 21 EMA as support. Easy, guys.